Yeah, I was wondering if the, it's in the budget, if we can maybe rent like a ship. I mean, we're kind of close to St. Augustine. Maybe we can talk to one of the captains. Because um, I want to do this intro kind of big. It's it's not in the budget, is it? <laughs> we're actually negative? All right, I guess it's just going to have to be the intro. All right. Yeah. I don't know when frequent fear passes are coming. Okay. <laughs> I, as soon as it drops, I'll let you... Oh. I got to let you go. Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. We are still finalizing everything as far as I'm, 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 I'm testing out different things in different videos. So bear with me how the video might look a little different. Hi, welcome to the channel. I am Zombie Chris and if you're new around these parts, what we do here on this channel is we cover everything from the world of Halloween, the haunt season, haunted houses, especially because you guys love that. And as well as theme park stuff is thrown in there as well. Hollow Scream Orlando in running tradition between, you know, Orlando and Tampa. They kind of, you know, nah, you make the announcement this week. All right, we got it next week. And just like that, Orlando has dropped a couple more announcements on their event. So we actually have a haunted house this time, a scare zone, and a themed bar, as well as a few more icons are left. So we're kind of wondering what that's all about, and we're going to get to all of that in this video. So stay tuned. We're going to talk about the haunted house first. So Captain's Revenge is the new house. We were kind of thinking it was going to be the black spot or some kind of variation on that kind of is captain's revenge when a cursed pirate has plotted your demise perhaps you shouldn't go searching for him in the murky depths of his ship Now, this looks awesome. Um, just from the video, you can tell, obviously, they filmed, I believe, and I, I'm just throwing that out there. I think they filmed all of these videos in the houses themselves. Obviously, certain shots are animated and whatever. But a lot of these shots, I'm believing, are in the house. This looks fantastic. You can tell just in the little snippet of the video that there is... Sort of like, I don't know what to call that. It's almost like it's um, like a mermaid type of creature or something. Um, maybe that's going along with my theory that I have. And if you've never seen my video about the theory, about the theme, overall arching thing, uh, it'll be down in the description box as well as at the end of this video. And as well as we have a scare zone to kind of match with the overall theme. I love this idea of like the themes, you know, like a house, a scare zone, kind of all matching. And then the theme bar. I love this concept. I wish they would do this going forward with this event and hopefully it would come back next year. But we have Sea of Souls for the scare zone. This is it. The site of horrific shipwreck. Those Pirates were too arrogant to see their downfall coming, and now they're doomed to wander through a sea of gruesome remainders. That's reminders. I can't read. Their souls are relentless, and their anger is real. They'll never stop seeking revenge on those who've escaped 
the ghostly fate. Stay clear if you can. In the sea of souls. Uh, not much to go on. We just hope it's going to have a ship. Some kind of cool like aqua lighting. We don't know if I'm guessing there's going to be pirates. Like sort of ghost pirates. Uh, I'm sold. I'm sold. And if you're looking down, they say the roaming haunt. So now they actually list what these icons are. They're they're giving us sort of clues to what these are. So the roaming haunts, there's nowhere to hide. Uh, the trident is actually the sirens. It's, the sirens don't need to lure you with a song. They bring terror to you. And then we have the creatures. Even the trees and plants are after you. Good luck camouflaging your fear and if you do not know if you've never been to hollow scream event i've been to the one in tampa at least twice i want to say those camouflage scare actors get me every single time the people that hide in the bushes because you don't see them coming and it's dark and you're like whoa, whoa, whoa what what was that what was that so i'm i'm sold on that i love the idea that these are roaming haunts so they're not gonna like stay in the same area i would hope roaming because hollow scream typically does that with their haunts they have like their scare zones but then the roaming haunt ones they bounce around the entire like section so you never know who you're gonna see where you're gonna see them and then the last one is the minions evil craves worship don't fall under the spell of this uh, these sinister occult zealots. Um, not quite sure what any of these are going to look like. I mean, I can take a guess with the sirens being the sirens. Uh, creatures being sort of camouflaged and sort of green pattern. And then you have the minions. I don't know what they're going to be like. But I'm, I'm, I'm stoked to check them out. And we have another themed bar experience. So the Longshoreman tavern is what we have when pirates pull into port this will be the tavern where they warm their bellies with rum take a break from the monstrous and squalls plant your weary hides and join the merment in here you might discover that an old sea world treasure has been resurrected they're longshoremen and they've been dying to entertain you again so not quite sure what that is it's saying an old an old sea world treasure has been resurrected and it says partially i'm not quite sure what that is but it's very interesting that is kind of cool if they brought back something from sea world's history to kind of like be in this theme bar experience i'm already i'm not like a huge drinker but i really want to visit all of these theme bars especially to show you guys but to also kind of just see what they are like to experience these theme bars seems like it's a rather interesting take that we have not seen other theme parks do uh with their halloween sort of uh, festivities and then more will emerge soon so we have four more icons still left we have the lighthouse uh, i'm assuming that's like a skeleton and, a, and a, a bottle we have that mysterious medusa head which everyone is hoping hoping it is what it is and then we have sort of like a camp i guess a campground which i'm assuming is a scare zone that's a house a theme bar and then maybe that is what everyone's thinking is the medusa head so there we go. We also have now front uh, line fear pass and front line fear extreme for the event. Uh, starting at forty nine dollars, you get access to all the houses, uh, one single use, and then all the rides. And then we have the one that's the extreme one, which is seventy nine dollars, and it's going to get you unlimited uh, front of the line, unlimited uh, front access to the rides. One time reserved seating for the Monster Stomp Show. Bonus exclusive. Oh, Hollow Scream Scare Zone. Now, this part is really interesting right here. It says uh, an exclusive access to a bonus Hollow Scream Scare Zone. Offers available during Hollow Scream event. Only uh, available. That is a rather interesting one because I don't know if that would be worth it. You know what I mean? $79. You're only going to get to do it once. Oh, man. 
it depends on the scare zone. If it's a really cool decked out scare zone that only you get to exclusively see, might be kind of worth it. Although I have an unlimited uh, pass for this season to uh, Hollow Scream Orlando. So I'm going to have to think about that one. But I, I, I might. I might. And also some breaking news that sort of happened over the past day between this announcement. Uh, there's another drive through haunt called Scream and Stream. And they kind of put out a mysterious tweet about... Uh, one of their creative directors, uh, Patrick Rillard, who is from Halloween Horror Nights. If you know the man, you know the myth, the legend, uh, all the projects he has worked on for Halloween Horror Nights, that he is also sort of behind SeaWorld Orlando's uh, Hollow Scream event. I don't know to what capacity. I don't know if he just gave them some ideas or he's kind of helped building things. But someone from Halloween Horror Nights is kind of working on uh, this event as well. That's gonna that that's really pushing it up there for folks. That is really getting people excited. So that is it for this video on the SeaWorld Orlando announcement. Uh, don't forget they now have the monster sale still going on if you haven't already purchased your tickets, and they do have a flexible uh, date ticket, so you're not locked in to have to do a certain day. That is it for the video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, check out this video to see my SeaWorld theory about the mermaids and the theme, which seems like everything's kind of coming together on that one. So that is it for the video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, make sure to leave the uh, thumbs up, subscribe. We are on the road to 7K. Cannot believe I finally get to say that. So thank you all. That is it. Adios.